All right, we're going to tell you how to remove a rusted axle and put on a new one. This is a 2001 sled dock trailer. Now the problems we're having, it's, uh, of course, it's rusted. We got a lot of rust here. And uh, last year we saw a sled dock trailer being towed on a flatbed trailer, and this plate was broken. And if that plate is broken, forget it, you can't weld because it'll melt the rubber inside here, and you're all gone. Another problem we're having is the uh, wear right there. And 90% of the time, the reason you got wear is because the spindle is probably bent from hitting a pothole or something like that. And there's no vertical alignment on this to compensate. So we're going to replace the axle. It's going to take care of that. And uh, what we need to buy at first is an axle. And I went on trailerpartsdepot.com and actually I found an area dealer. They have a list of dealer on there. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure from the outside of this bracket to the outside of the other bracket. And mine was kind of an odd width, 57 inches. But they had one in stock and I got it two days later. Another thing you can measure is the center of the tire to the other center of the tire. That's not a critical dimension because you've got plenty of room for the tires. I probably got an extra 10 inches on each side. But anyways, when you buy the thing, it comes all assembled with the hubs, grease fittings on it. All you got to do is put the wheels on. Um, the only thing other that you need to buy is four and a half inch bolts, and or you can go five inch, but you need extra washers. I use stainless steel, and uh, the, and I use galvanized washers. Um, so that's about the only extra tools you need to be. Um, the other tools you're going to need is you're going to need a grinder to cut the bolt off. To get tr trying to soak it, just get in there and cut it off. And if you do, you're going to need an extra wide wheel. This one's seven inches to cut it off because the rail is in the way. Of course, protective equipment here. And uh, to put it back on, three-quarter inch uh, wrench. And you need a long socket to hold it underneath. Um, they're half inch bolts. Um, yeah. Half inch bolts. And when you go to cut on the rail, just put the grinder right above the washer. Try not to cut into the rail. And it might take a while. Then, after you get everything off, the final two you need is a sledgehammer. This, you think it would just drop down, you gotta. Keep whacking and whacking and finally it'll drop down. The key to it is before you uh, take it off, just leave the wheels on. Don't take the wheels off during putting it on. Uh, I mean, taking it off. And then when you go to uh, put it, the uh, new axle on, take the wheels and put them on your new axle and roll it in, turn it, and put everything in reverse. Also, if you're in the middle of nowhere and you've got to cut these off of the grinder, just get a generator or an inverter. No need to have it towed.